In this video, you are about to discover more than 200 plus unknown Geometry Dash facts. From there being 1.5 quadrillion icon combinations in the game to never before seen footage. I listed all the facts in 5 categories. From the E tier to the A tier with genuinely unknown facts. With that being said, let's start with fact 1. If you spam the help button a lot of times, a question mark will appear in the support menu that you can press for a free icon. There also are new vault codes that unlock new icons in the Jump Trash 2.2 update. The codes are 40 Volt, Final Boss, 40 Volt of Secrets, Dash Geometry and the Chicken is Ready, and for the Chamber of Time, Back on Track and Give Me Helper. This isn't the only way though to obtain new icons. If you spam the shopkeeper, you can also get an icon. These three facts were rather boring though. Time to talk about the good stuff. We start off with the sound effect trigger. With it, you can add proximity sounds that get louder the closer you get to the trigger. Pretty cool. If you go past all pages three times in the main menu, you can get a secret coin. The group limit now is 9999 instead of 999, which it previously was. Meaning you can use almost 10,000 groups in your level now. There are icons in the game that are a reference to other games, like the Minecraft Cube and the Boomlinks Cube. Wrapped up his other game. The rarest achievement in the game is getting creator points. Around 0.05% of the player base has them. A star rate happens when the owner of the game gives a level a specific type of badge of honor. The rarest type of star rate is mythical. It only has been given out to one player so far. This isn't as rare as the level Cataclysm. This level is the only level to both exist in the gauntlets and the map packs. These both have less than 200 levels in them, so it's a huge deal. Another fact. The no star option together with the star rate option still makes the game show you rated levels. The more games option in Jump Tradition's home screen doesn't have more games. You cannot search further than page 1000, but you can scroll further. In this game, there once was a restart button in Geometry Dash that just didn't do anything at all based on people's observations. We are going a little quick, let's slow down. In GD 2.2, you could cheese the level dash by going under a portal at 75%. That was until you randomly got stuck in a corner before the level ended. Bad luck. This is not as weird as a player named Kulazo. A normal player has all types of stats. User coins, which you can obtain by finding coins in user-made levels. Diamonds, which you can get by completing quests and beating daily levels. And so much more. Kulazo though only has stars on his profile. No demons, no daily levels, no quests, no anything. Besides just these stars. He had more than 30,000, which doesn't sound like much, but when you hear the world record for most stars obtained in an hour, you'll be way more impressed with Kulazo's achievement. The world record stands at just 282 stars in one hour. Fact 18. Bloodlust once was the hardest level in the game. At some point in time though, it was a hard demon. Two difficulties below the actual hardest difficulty in the game. The Lightning Road is the easiest demon in the game, but there also is a level named the Lightning Rod, which is the 13th hardest level in the game. The Auto difficulty is the least used difficulty in the game. Another useless fact is the fact that you can only put 20 characters in a GD search bar, just like your chance of getting a girlfriend will double if you hit the subscribe button right now. Okay, it is time to spice the facts up a bit. We go from the E tier to the D tier, where our facts will get a lot more impressive. The first ever star rated level is called Chill Out with the ID 146. Apparently, Robtop has a brother who sometimes helps him with the game. He doesn't help with the coding part of the game though. There are multiple super fast world records in Geometry Dash, but let's talk about the slowest one instead. The slowest world record is set by slowest speedrunner spending more than 6 minutes on the tower, the first platformer level. Did you know Geometry Dash previously was called Geometry Jump? Old footage shows this being the case. Or what about, just like Geometry Jump, there are a lot more other old screenshots showing that Geometry Dash was very different from what it was before. The final screenshot showing very old footage of unedited stuff in the game that wasn't implemented yet. There are three different graphics settings in the game. Low, medium and high. But did you know the entire font changes when going from high to lower graphics? Okay. A very, very dumb fact incoming. The wave once was called the dart, and the UFO was called the bird. I can already imagine children saying their most favorite game modes in GD is the bird. Most levels on these servers are very safe for children. For example, you can't even put poop in your level's name or it'll get deleted. One level though is different. It is called Sucks 2 and stayed on these servers while also being raided after eventually getting deleted. GD wasn't the same after this happened, just like what happened to Polar Geist. 
it once was different. The second coin had an area that had other objects in it than the current Polargeist version. It's easily noticeable once you put them side by side. Okay, if you look closely at the title screen, you can see that the Geometrist title is in all caps lock. A crazy number incoming. The level Nessus is longer than the lifespan of the Earth so far. The creator of the level said it was this number seconds long. I don't know how to pronounce it. I told you that the first ever rated level had an ID of 146, but the first ever level has an ID of 95. It is called Chippy by Player and looks like this. This screenshot was almost made 10 years ago, when the game was brand new and players just started out. It looks a lot different than how it looks right now. If you look closely to the level search menu, you can see that the moderator button is slightly overlapped by a green bar. 2.2 only has been out for a month since the release of this video, but one year ago a team of people leaked footage of how 2.2 would look. It looks really similar to the current version of the game. You can make the duration of some triggers minus one, making them infinite. Just like you can give objects a particle effect by giving a particle a group ID and putting this ID in the edit special tab from the object. Here is a list of all the first levels from every update, from the first all the way to the last update. But let's switch from levels to the place levels are created in, the editor. You can now select an object, go to edit group, click on extra and select height to completely make an object invisible. Fact number, I don't know. Pointer Crate is a website which shows Jump Thresh's hardest demons. The shortest lift number one hardest demon level on here only had the top spot for 18 seconds and was called Firework, which looked like this. A couple years ago, there were 26 hidden objects in the game that could only be accessed with hacks. The longest beatable GD level is called Emptiness. It is approximately 1 to 10 nonillion years long. This is how many zeros there are in a nonillion. Insane. Even more insane is the amount of icon combinations possible in 2.2. More than 1.5 quadrillion possible combinations you can make with your icons. The current extreme demon with the most amount of dislikes is called SL80 by Embedsun and has an insane amount of hate as you can see. Spider number 35 is a reference to the Pokemon Gengar in its mega evolution, just like Ball 68, which is a reference to the level Ultra Violence, a very famous level by Zender Game. With GD 2.2 only having been out for a month since the release of this video, it is very weird that a random person was able to upload their list, which is a map with a bunch of level net, 34 years ago. The Hall of Fame, which previously existed in the game, has now been deleted. Okay, that fact was a little boring, I agree. Time to get into the more interesting facts again. You can see a reference of Dota 2 in GD. Achievements named Rampage, Dominating, Ultra Kill, Godlike, Wicked Sick can also be seen in Dota. The biggest mega collab in the game is placed by Spotnix, having over 10,000 people in it. Okie dokie. Time to go up another tier. Let's move from tier D to tier C, where we talk about stuff a lot more unknown. Did you know that the main menu will show the background and the ground of the last level you played? Because of Jump Treasure's latest update, levels such as Windy Landscape, Oblivion and Melf and many many more are completely impossible. If you look really closely, the insane and extreme demon faces have a triangle on their heads, while the other demon faces don't. They are very different, just like all the jump pads in the entire game. If you check out all their hitboxes, you can see that every single one of them has completely different hitboxes for some reason. The official Jump Threaders trailer is the most viewed GD video, but did you know that there is a spelling mistake in the description? If you look closely, you can see the words written being misspelled. For a level to get a difficulty phase, it needs to be rated by at least 3 players. Also, each shard will be converted to 100 mana orbs if you have all shards obtained. You can't stack them past 100. To unlock every single demon chest, you need exactly 3600 keys or 1.8 million orbs, which is the equivalent of beating 3600 demons. Back to the editor. Placing a spider orb facing up, a spider pet above it and clicking the orb will send your icon flying in the editor. By placing a block above the spider pet, this will not happen. Let's now switch to the second main level, back on track. Back on track now has the easy difficulty phase, but long time ago this was different. Before update 1.9, the difficulty actually was normal. The most rated levels with the same username is 4. They are based on the username Jof, a famous Geometry Dash creator. The following one is a fact that is actually useful. The game cannot track if you are subscribed to Robtop when trying to obtain the icon for which you need to do this. You can just click here, immediately go back and get the coin. Easy. 
Club Step is one of the hardest main levels, known for its structures that look like angry faces called Club Step monsters. There are exactly 34 of them in the whole Club Step level. Scratch is this cute mascot that pops up everywhere in the game, but did you know he is rich? When clicking on the versus step too many times, Scratch in an expensive helicopter will pop up flexing his money. The longest time a rated level has never been beaten before might surprise you. It isn't one of the hardest demons in the game, but instead an unknown insane demon that just wasn't very popular and took 3 years to beat. The fact I'm about to tell you is kinda weird. An account named Robsfold has all main levels in the game without recreating them. He copied them right from the code and uploaded them on his account. Did you know that every main level from 1 to 22 gives 25 more orbs than the previous one, until the 12th level pops up, which ruins it? Okay, some quick facts now, let's speed this up a bit. You can publish your levels to just friends now. You can also finish the levels in the gauntlets, daily and weekly levels to repeat them a second time. There is one pixel sticking out of the Lenny icon. To unlock every path in the game, you need 500,000 orbs. Nuts is the creator with the highest epic level streak, which is 28 at the moment. The most popular GD video that is not made by the owner of the game is Press Start Fool by Isher, with 49 million views. 2.2 has been set 800,000 times in a GD Discord server, which is nuts. The first ever rated 2.2 platformer level is named I Wanna Be That Guy. If you scroll through all the up levels, you can find a jump to this poem about the 2.2 update. Most demons have a triple spike at the end of their level to show respect to a YouTuber named Michigan, who sadly passed away a couple years ago and finally, Wild Point having the highest ever recorded heart rate while playing a jump to this level, which is 215 BPM. <sighs> okay, let's chill out again. You can write IDs in two ways. The first one is to type the number out normally, and the second way is to write the first number, the letter E, and then the amount of zeros you want to put behind it. Both result in the same IDs. The mini wave can go below regular spikes. This is because the spike's hitbox only exists in the middle of a spike. There still is a small gap where the wave can go through. You might find it exhausting to listen to me at the moment, but something that would be way worse is reading the entire game's editor guide, which is a whopping 201 pages long, talking about every single feature in the game. You also probably didn't know that the John Trader's background and ground will be exactly the same as the background and ground of the latest level you've played. I tested it out and it is true, just like the following Electroman Adventures fact. In this level at 66%, you can skip a ship portal by moving below it with a UFO, and you can still complete the level like this. Viperin has the only level that was star rated before it got rated by the community. Robtop apparently sold the level so quickly that he decided to immediately rate it without even seeing it. Mr. Beast is the most famous YouTuber on earth. He averages more than 100 million views per video, so it was incredible to see that the Geometry Dasher once was in a video of his. His name was Zobros and got bashed for having a terrible banner. Here's a picture of how Geometry Dash looked 10 years ago. It looks way different from what it looks right now. Our place is Reddit's biggest event. Anyone can place a single pixel there every 5 minutes and communities from around the world can form a beautiful artwork like this. If you look very closely at the artwork people made last year, you can see a small tribute to Jumter Dash which is kinda cute. Our upcoming fact isn't really a fact, but there is a very, very tiny chance your game becomes vertical, resulting in the game looking very weird. I showed an old pic of the game some seconds ago. Here's another one, which shows that for once, for a very short time, a rare feature appeared that showed the week's best star grinders. It quickly got removed, which is why so few people know about it. Did you know that Jomtradash is on Google Maps? If you search Jomtradash Tidal Wave, it is a place in France apparently, and Jomtradash is not just on Google Maps, but entire books have been written about it, as you can see. But back to the in-game obscurities. The settings hitboxes on your profile are inaccurate. If you hit the top of it, you can delete your own message. Ian Raptop has 2.1 anniversary video. At the very end, every creator's name is visible. I was even able to find mine. Only lists from moderators are featured into the official Robtop lists with no exceptions, but back to the editor. There are a lot of ways to die in GD while playtesting in the editor, but this even is the case with no damage enabled, which is a little cursed to be honest. This was because of the 2.2 update. Just like the 2.2 update resulted in a weird glitch that made you able to complete any level you'd like. First die, then return to the home screen, delete the level and then play it again while holding the delete button, resulting in the level becoming empty. Just like beating every level, you can now also speed hack any level you want with certain mechanisms that take too long to explain. 
Like everyone knows, you can click on the ship in the icon kit menu to show the jetpack icon. But something you don't know, you can find Rob the Piss account by typing the number 16 in the search bar. Triggers are used a lot in the game, but they are very confusing. However, if you try to click the info button about the triggers, most of the time it doesn't say anything helpful at all. Okay, instead of chilling out, let me try to give you 10 facts as quickly as I possibly can. 3, 2, 1. Tarly Sun by Pocky is the shortest demon in the game being just 30 seconds long. There are a few unuploaded levels in the game with a negative ID. Wrapped up no clipped club step as seen in a video on his channel where he went through spikes. Some hackers still have their creator points on their profile from stolen deleted levels. Stereo Madness was once found on the GD servers between online levels. It couldn't be played. The main levels are stored from ID 1 to 21. The GD world levels from ID 2001 to 2010 and the challenge as ID 3001. Here's a weird box showing someone having gotten 196% on the level and here you have an account with an ID of 96, which apparently is wrapped up as test account. Okay, time to slow down again. But first, it is time to move from the C tier to the B tier, where we talk about facts barely anyone has ever heard about before. A geometrist jump takes less than half a second to complete, so it's easy to get around 1000 or maybe 10,000 jumps. A player that goes by the name of Raider took this a little further. He made 1.5 billion jumps in his total geometrist career, which is genuinely nuts. When you play Geometrish on an extremely high FPS, the game can't handle it as shown in the following video where the icon just keeps rotating. Caramel is a famous creator with a lot of very famous levels. He once got hacked while live streaming, which resulted in a lot of bad stuff like his levels names being changed. This also once happened to Robtop. It was done by a group of people named Team Hacks, who luckily didn't do anything disastrous to his account. This Robtop guy is the owner of the game, and people really look up to him. So much actually, that YouTuber Nemzi spent 3 hours on saying his name 10,000 times. On to the next fact. There are a couple featured levels in the game that don't give any stars and only have the featured glow on them. Normally, it should look like this, which these word levels don't. The most liked comment isn't by who you might think. It's Venom18 has 1.8 million likes on his comment Annabin will never die. This comment was hacked to have such a huge amount of likes. Before update 2.1, the 6 editor buttons inside the editor were round instead of square. Darnock's level named Gravity Fueled had a part in it where you have to click with your icon to change gravity. This actually inspired Robtop to add the UFO game mode to the game. This guy also was the first ever moderator of the game, meaning he could send good levels directly to Robtop to rate them. Robtop, his comment saying every like on his comment equals 10 likes actually works. The progress bar depends on your player colors. They're always the same color. 2 to the 0 is the only level Robtop has ever created a part in. Here it is and it's known for this part that Robtop made. Minerer is a very special geometrist player. Not only does he have a lot of creator points, but he also has spent more than 68,000 hours in the game. But let's just move from Geometrash to Science. Geometrash for short is GD, but GD is not just a game. It also is the 68th element on the periodic table, Gadolinium. Okay, back to the GD facts now. The level Dangerous Spikes was previously removed from the spike gauntlet due to people believing it was too hard. It's the only level to have ever been deleted from a gauntlet. We are getting very far now. These two usernames apparently are some of the rarest usernames in the game. They have underscores and hyphens in them, which you can't put in your username anymore. Meaning that these two users probably are never able to log in anymore. Just like Caramel's account was hacked, another streamer by the name of Ludicrous was hacked on stream and this hacker did way worse stuff as you can see. But back to the fun happy facts. The most used song in star rated levels is Supernova by Extruder, found in 102 rated levels. These rated levels can also be pretty short, as short as 12 seconds even, which is the length of the shortest rated level, Xmas Challenge. Bloodbath is the level with the most noclip versions based on it. There are 9383 Bloodbath noclip levels in the game, meaning 0.001% of all the levels in the game are Bloodbath noclip. The person with the most icons created in the 2.2 update is Retro Advance 64 with 283 icons. After doing 4,924,967,295 consecutive attempts on a level, your attempt count will go into the negatives and count back up to zero again. Doing this in normal mode with no hacks would take roughly 136 years of dying at the beginning of a level. If you switch the coin and time leaderboards in the leaderboard menu, the time 
text and icon are smaller by a few pixels. In the game, there are 59 backgrounds and 60 fonts. And a lot of these fonts are direct inspirations from other games, like these ones based on Star Wars, Minecraft, Pokemon and Squid Game. If you don't have the Song of a Daily level previously downloaded before, it appears as unknown. This only happens for daily levels and weekly demons. Besides normal in-game moderators, there now are also some people with this badge. This badge is given out to leaderboard moderators, who make sure there are no cheaters in the leaderboards. A beautiful fact is when 2.2 released, Robtop decided to add a little heart next to Michigan's name in the credits in the community shop because of Michigan's passing on 2021. You've probably heard this line in Plus Processing before. This line was actually taken from this 24 year old documentary. Get ready for a lot of fun and excitement. Okay guys, for one last time, I'll do the ultimate fact speedrun to immediately get to the A tier facts. Let's do 20 facts. There are certain gauntlet icons you can't unlock yet because of specific gauntlets having been delayed to a future update. Sometimes Scratch just doesn't open a shop. There is a guy who beat Clubstep, the third hardest main level, blindfolded in 2.1 million attempts. The quick search button on the menu misses a pixel. This guy made incredibly detailed art and just 77 objects. GeometryDash.io is a complete ripoff of GeometryDash, but still is the first thing to pop up when searching GD. The amount of ad revenue from GeometryDash is around 200k a month based on this website, more than 2 million a year. The account Crazyfuck is the only account apparently being deleted by Robtop itself. There are GeometryDash accounts with the max possible amount of coins. Sometimes it happens when the difficulty phases from featured levels in the Future tab just randomly disappear. The most popular Geometer Dash short has 126 million views. The Nightmare and the Lightning Road are the easiest demons in the game. Too easy to be a demon actually, which Robtop confirmed by saying he actually regretted it, but that it was too late to change it. There are auto levels which aren't automatic which makes no sense at all, and before update 1.9 you could only play Geometer Dash on your phone. This is what an almost impossible platformer level looks like. This is a picture of all hitboxes in the cube. One for its rotation, one for its death and one for its collision. All levels in Geometry Dash were once recreated in Geometry Dash and the game also had its peak player count a short time ago with a player count of 86,000 at the same time. On this website you can learn Geometry Dash songs for your piano. And finally, Super Mario Bros level 1 is a recreation of the first level of Super Mario. Okay, that one was boring, but let's move on to the final tier. The A tier, with the greatest Geometry Dash facts in existence. A player that went by the name of Ultra Cow HD is known for doing some really goofy things. One of the things he lately has been known for was completing 365 extreme demon difficulty levels in an entire year, averaging one extreme demon per day. Sonic Wave once was one of the hardest demons in the game, and still is incredibly hard. With tight wave parts and unseeable gameplay, only a few can complete it. So what if I told you that a player that goes by the name of Zenny beat this level 100 times? I showed you a beautiful artwork in 77 objects before, right? Well, look at this. This masterpiece only took 400 objects while looking like it's made out of 400,000. The most expensive Geometry Dash Fiverr gig is $143. To reach the top 100 leaderboard, you need to have around this attempt count. This is Stakeman's attempt count, the number 4 player in the game. I told you before that Minabur had an insane playtime, but he also is the only person to both reach the top 50 on both the star and the creator leaderboard. This is what happens when you put John Teresh through AI 100 times. Nine Circles is the most famous hard demon in the game, but did you know it once was a weekly demon? This is especially weird, because weekly demons normally only consist out of easy and medium demons, almost never anything else. The most stupid reason for someone losing their GD moderator badge is what happened to Rob Bob. He was one of the game's earliest moderators and lost his badge due to him joking about people being able to pay him to send levels. Did you know that in Stereo Madness the final coin once was harder? If you compare the current and old versions side by side, you can see the changes in difficulty. The most object heavy level in the game is unopenable and consists of literally just 2 million spikes. Let's switch to the most stupid level ever. Rock Moten has some of the weirdest gameplay there is, but the actual weird thing are the comments. For some reason a ginormous amount of in-game moderators and in-game celebrities commented on this level, saying it was the best thing they had ever played. 
Eternity by Zerak is the only level to have ever been rated by a banned user since 8 years. Yes, the user who uploaded this got banned before it was star rated. The easiest demon to have ever existed is named Joltwave. Once you see it now, it doesn't look like anything special, but when it was rated, it was around the difficulty of a 3 star level. The following drum tradition achievement is the hardest achievement for the average G player to get. Sonic Wave Infinity is a decorated version of the extreme demon Sonic Wave. It actually got unrated once because of it containing crash triggers that would make the player's game crash after passing a certain point in the level. Not only 9 circles was once a weekly demon. Even an extreme demon once got the award of being a weekly demon on April Fools. For most people this is a level that's impossible to beat, so people were going crazy when Bloodlust was a weekly demon. Also complete normal, there are geometrist comments from 20, 24 years ago, even though the game only has been out for 10 years. Apparently, you cannot delete wrapped up his comments on your level. This is the first comment on the first ever uploaded level that is still online. The level with the longest chain of the same sentence after one another is my favorite. It's on the level Malpan No Clear and has a chain of 147 but I do messages. Valentine's Day is a beautiful day, a day of love even in Geometry Dash, because in 2014, all names were changed so they had some sort of love in them, just so wholesome. The opposite of wholesome is a bot named Haha Yeah Bot. This bot was made by this YouTuber and basically just commented Haha Yeah on every level it came across. The vault code Codebreaker always contains different numbers, but it will always have the same answer for you. You can actually block yourself. The sound for finishing a quest is just the level completion sound, but pitched up. It also is possible to beat all the tower platformer levels under 8 minutes. This was shown by a tool assisted speedrun and some parts look crazy difficult. A part of your profile is misaligned by one pixel. After you upload 5 levels in a single hour, you can't upload anymore for the next hour, meaning you can upload a maximum of 120 levels in a day. The country with the most amount of jump trash playtime is the USA, being 16% of the entire player base. On the same website, it also tells you the game has 5.3 million copies sold. Lately, a hidden game from Robtop was found. It's called Forlorn, and to be honest, looks a little like Jump Dash. Sometimes the shopkeeper will scam you. Just look at this face. clip. No, I bought it! I bought it by accident! I literally, I literally, I clicked cancel, I swear. With Jump Trash 2.2, you can now make black holes in the game, and they look incredible. Another cool number is the amount of comments when Robtop didn't ask me about anything on Reddit. 3,956 in total. He also created this goofy song. Did you know that there's an easter egg in Bloodbath, one of the most famous levels in Jump Trash history? If you keep holding at the start of the level, the word Rotacini will pop up. This was the name of an upcoming extreme demon. Collaboration by Sari was the first collab ever made, with 5 plus other people having made a part in it. The least player rated level in the entire game right now, unironically, is named Forgotten Paradise, with just 2000 plays and being created over 2 years ago. And the very, very final fact, your happiness decreasing by 50% once this video ends. So watch it again, okay bye.